I greet and welcome back to Alex OBHQ. Today is the 17th day of April 2023. Anybody who sees the city in Nigeria is not a face state, and that person is only the deceive himself because the things will happen for Nigeria, no place for this earth, no for this earth way for the apple, no day, only Nigeria. So we're going through some of the matter with the apple. But inside this, you get a guy reports it terrorists kill over 100 people. I'll come into the matter. You're the matter. You're the laugh. But we're we'll going through a serious issue for most here. If you go here, you see, see, I want to stop my university education and focus on my boyfriend. Nigerian lady declare. Why human people will see this day funny, but it's not funny, it's reality, it's serious, it's not a joke. Let us see, me this girl has a boyfriend, bless you, he had degree correct, he focus on that boy. Then you go to school after you come from school, finish the education, use zero, is useless. Everything about Nigeria, they teach you, it's useless. You will spare your time for school fees, spare your time, and so try to come, everything will happen at the end. Of it all, if you see graduate finish, the so will see demand. Some people will employ you, see demand, see if you not sleep with them, they not give you that work. When I see a Nigeria, don't frustrate their own cities, they so that they will value boyfriend. <laughs> that to go to school, not be dripping down. So, movies I talked to a very shocking one, they give me blessing. I said, Don't even comprehend. Just imagine, I sold my daughter. 600 to settle debt ugu ugu woman <laughs> we'll go for that a 33 year old woman olade adekuli has been arrested by men of the ugu state police command for allegedly selling of a 18 months old baby to a year to be identified by her at the rate of 600 thousand oh my goodness what if six hundred thousand for you even if 500 euros save my god have mercy the suspect was arrested following a complaint launched at sango division headquarters by the woman's husband nurini razak who reported that his wife olade adekoli left home to lagos on the 15th of march 2023 with their baby girl by name maridia razak but returned home without the baby he stated further that all efforts to know what happened to the baby proved abortive as the woman was unable to give any reasonable account of whereabouts of the said baby. Upon the report, the DPO Sago Division CSP Daruru Salu detained his detective to go after the said woman and she was promptly arrested. On interrogation, the suspect confessed that she has sold her baby to someone in Lagos at the rate of 600k. When asked the reason for her action, she stated that she borrowed money from a microfinance bank and when she was unable to pay back the money, the bank agent started disturbing her and threatening to deal decisively with her. It was consequent upon this that she ran to Lagos and started hawking sachet water. She said it was why she was asking that she met a man who introduced her to a woman that eventually bought the child in Lagos. Confirming the arrest, the spokesperson of the state police command, SP Abiumbola Oyeyemi, said the acting commissioner of police, DCP Bambakuro Mohamed, has directed that the suspect be transferred to state criminal investigation department for further investigation and possible recovery of the baby. Huh. What a word. See Nigeria. Nigeria was my country. Huh. Praying only when it's on some color. Praying only when you have problem is a very big problem. <laughs> Okay, pray when only you have problem is a very big problem. If her parents are so are like that, we should have we should have be alive to see microfinance but to borrow money. Mugu. Oh my goodness. Ah Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. I won't tell what they told them when I come to move move this ground this country now. See, see another one again, that's shocking one. We're gonna 
discuss this matter real life tomorrow i think so for a chance because this one is a very uh, delicate issue this is a pastor we say member where is the update okay, no? okay with your grace in the updates it's a call to remind nigeria pastor in kirikiri prison for allegedly raping two ch ch church members huh. Oh, wow, God have mercy. Best you see the good church, you go see the fear again. Justice Ramo Oshodi reminded the founder of Irene Christian Ministry. No, be the Irene. Now, if it be Irene Christian Ministry in Kirikiri Correctional Central until its bail condition were met. Pastor Daniel Olufayo, uh, commonly known as Bishop Feyi was sent to prison on monday by an ikenja sexual uh, offense and domestic violence court on monday pending the time he fulfilled his big condition for alleged raping two of his church members now without going more further not to not going more further this is one of the reasons why I make if you call it talk about Nigeria church on my they make me the face. Because most things, okay, tell me person be saying when we will give you life to you want to okay, you want to repent. You can believe when you give life to Christ for that church. No church for Nigeria, we want to even uh, see that they, they do anything of God. No. All the church for Nigeria is a business center, so I'm concerned. No, no church for Nigeria. He said terrorists move over 100 people in Southern Kaduna in four months. Amnesty International. This report says you too low. He will report me get this more than 100 in four months. <laughs> Not traditional report. Okay, let's go. According to Amnesty International, government by at least 38 people in Southern Kaduna in December 2022, 25 in March 2023, while no fewer than 47 people have been by in April 2023. An international non government organization, Amnesty International, has said that the armed terrorist operation in Kaduna State and other parts of northern nigeria by over 100 people in southern kaduna between december 2022 and april 2023 according to amnesty international government by at least 30 uh -huh. on sunday the global human rights group said on its twitter and nigeria authority must end the frequent buying attack on southern kaduna from december 22 to date over 100 people have been by Sato Kaduna. The organization said the latest of such ugly incidents in the attack and the buying by government on Saturday night at the Sako community at of shift dome in the Zaku Kafta local government area of the state. Some government might invade Sako community by no fewer than 20 villagers why several hearts were raised it was reported that the government suspected to be fulani meeti stormed the community around 10 pm on saturday shooting indiscriminately at anything in sight during which they by at least 20 people nigeria don't finish you <laughs> Not even comment. These guys may be getting cover from somewhere. National spread is important for the heads of security agency. <laughs> my people, if they happen for year, you go say it never reached my side. No premier with this tamara talk about what they say now. Time you go take this tamara go answer a panic for us. Never reach your side now. Now you supposed to stand up, fight, and demand the end to this so-called country that is killing people. The man for a referendum, a referendum is not a crime. Even here in France, so they super say demand for a referendum for anything. The money not do okay to them, the demand referendum. This will not do happen to demand for a referendum. So that we no people who are queer. Now, demand referendum for Nigeria to be won or to be divided into three places or four places, whoever will show you want. If you like the video, comment, subscribe, share to all social media part of Facebook, you come across our channel. Do some subscribe for a job out of this one of my pro. Alessio Media don't come again. Alessio Media don't show again. Better plug away, no way.